Let's take a look at one of the other features on the machine. This feature is called Repair Design Memory. And what it actually is, it's what we would call pull compensation. It's where we take our satin stitches and we make them wider. Okay? Where this is really handy is if you have a design and you find that the columns are so thin that they're sinking into a fabric or perhaps you have a little underlay sticking out, this will make that top satin stitch wider so that it stays on the surface of the fabric better or covers up that underlay that's peeking out. A very handy feature. The way we would go into it, we go into our design management we go into our repair memory design, enter. Now we choose the design. I'm going to take this Avance design, select it, and here's where we put in our values. Now the range of values that we can use are from plus or minus 0.3 and the Y plus or minus 0.3. That's our max. So we can go 0 0.1, 0 0.2, or 0.3. Okay, we're going to go to the max because I'd like you to be able to see this. Just so you know, the 0.3 seems to represent approximately one millimeter of pull compensation, which is quite a bit. So we're going to make this positive 0.3. We're going to come over here, make that positive. 0.3, enter, and now what it's going to do is it's going to take that adjusted design and it's going to store it in a new memory location. So we're going to accept that. Now, another feature on the machine that's kind of nice is when you're previewing your designs when you're trying to call them up, you can hit the plus or minus button and it will zoom in. So this is the one without the pull compensation. And if you take a look at the width of the columns and you look at it very carefully, that's the original. And now if we look at the one that's been adjusted, you can clearly see all of these columns are a little bit wider. And that's what that repair memory design function does.